of the Moorish American community. We are the Moors! 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 The mighty, mighty Moors! The mighty, mighty Moors! The mighty, mighty Moors! Everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! People want to know! Islam! Assalamu alaikum! Islam means peace, so I greet you in peace. We are here today to celebrate Morocco Day in the spirit of Moorish independence. I welcome you all and thank you all for coming. I am Sheikh Alfred Tardell and I want to give honors to Philadelphia Mayor James F. Kinney and his wonderful, wonderful staff who helped put this event together. Again, thank you all for coming. I'm going to say a few brief remarks. My great prophet Noble Dr. Ali said, go to those who know law in an intelligent tone and they will be glad to render you a favorable reply, for they are glad to see I'm bringing you out of the darkness and into the light. Today, we honor those moors of those principles, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Today, your master of ceremony will be Grand Sheik Azim Hopkins Bay, Give them a warm welcome. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I greet you all in Islam. Islam. I begin in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful creator, the wonderful originator of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I give praise to almighty God, Allah, because this day would not be possible if it was not for the will of almighty God, Allah. Islam. Islam. I give honor to the holy and divine prophet, noble Drew Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America, the one who reintroduced us to our Moorish flag, a flag that's over 10,000 years old. And it is truly an honor and a pleasure to be here today. And I'd like to formally welcome you all out to our flag raising event. Islam? Islam. I give special honor to our brother, Sheikh A. Tard Il, who organized this event and did a wonderful job with this event. Islam? Islam. I give a special honor to the mayor of the city of Philadelphia, Jim Kenney, and his staff, and also Sheila Hess, who is the city representative who is here with us today. Islam? Islam. We would like to begin this flag raising with a ceremonial reading of the Moroccan national anthem followed by the Moorish American National Anthem, and then we're going to have a singing of the American National Anthem. The Sharifian Anthem is as follows. Root of the free and of the brave, rising place of the lights, forum of glory and its protector. May you perpetuate as its form and its protector. May you live among the homelands as an address for grandeur filling every garden, conveyed by every tongue, with spirit, with the body. Your son has come to answer your call. In my mouth and in my blood, your love stirred up as light and fire. Let's go, brothers, heading for grand door, making the world witness that we here perpetually live with the motto, God, Homeland, King. Islam? I will now have a ceremonial reading of the Moorish American National Anthem. We are Moorish Americans, 
faithful and free with the spirit of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. He restored us, our forefathers, vine and fig tree, through Islamism and nationality. O Moab, we sign thy name. Beautiful stallions ride into Spain. All of South Europe receives new light through the hands of the ancient Moabites. O the head of our government, truth he shall speak. We have raised him above us and called him Grand Sheik. He is merciful and mighty, our Prince of Peace, representing our Sultan, both West and East. O Mecca, we sing thy song. Muslims are marching, marching along. Noblest sons of the Ishmaelites who inhabit the land of the Moabites. O Allah, we praise thee alone. When we are weakest, he makes us strong. Allah, our Father, is infinite, our protector by night, day, and by night. Islam, at this point in time, I'd like to call to the podium Sister Tiana Graves, a young sister of 15 years old who is going to sing the American National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star been a spangled banner yet over the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you. I'd like to thank Sister Tiana Graves for that wonderful, wonderful rendition of the American National Anthem. Beautiful. At this point in time, I'd like to introduce the, the city representative who is with, with us today, Ms. Sheila Hess, city representative of Philadelphia and representative of the Mayor Jim Kinney. In, two, in 2016, Mayor Jim Kinney appointed Sheila Hess to the position of city representative for the city of Philadelphia. Her office is the Ceremonial and Special Events Department, which serves as Philadelphia's event production, public relations, and hospitality tourism. Sheila serves as the premier marketing and promotional department of the city of Philadelphia, where she promotes Philadelphia's diversity through citywide event creation, community engagement, and innovative experiences. She relishes the opportunity to tell the city's story connecting the perfect union of projects and people. And the Moorish Americans are a major part of this city's story, which Sheil is going to assist in telling today with the historic flag raising of the Moorish flag. So without further ado, I'd like to call to the podium Ms. Sheila Hess, city representative of Philadelphia and representative of Mayor Jim Kenney. Islam? Thank you so, so much. Um, Sheik A. Hopkins Bay, we greatly appreciate that introduction. And good morning, everyone. What a wonderful way to start the week here in the city of Philadelphia. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Tiana Graves for singing the American National Anthem. What a great job, Tiana. You were outstanding. 
Um, as you heard, I am honored to serve as city representative, and it is a great privilege to be here today with all of you on behalf of Mayor Jim Kenney to celebrate you, the Moroccan community within our city of Philadelphia. And today's ceremonial flag raising is a celebration of the many contributions and the achievements of Philadelphians with ties to the beautiful nation of Morocco. As you heard, I want to thank my uh, team from the Office of City Representatives, especially to Kenneth Earl, who helped produce today's event uh, in partnership with your team, and to the Office of Immigrant Affairs, who are here for the incredible work they do every day for all of you and our, and our entire immigrant population within the city of Philadelphia. We are a diverse city, and we are a welcoming city, and we are so proud of that. We are also celebrating the rights, the privileges, and the freedoms for all of our esteemed Moroccan Americans who are living in our city and the nation. So Philadelphia, we were honored to be the first, Amer first world heritage city in our nation, and we are so proud of the many different immigrant populations that have come to call Philadelphia home, and they continue to thrive. Now our Moroccan American community is part of that treasured diversity, and is a shining example of the success that comes from our founder, William Penn's vision to create a city that is a beacon of tolerance and freedom. And I know Morocco also is represented with a team in our PHL Unity Cup, so good luck to your Moroccan soccer team because I know that competition is on. Now under Mayor Jim Kenney's leadership, the city of brotherly and sisterly love will continue to welcome people from all points across the globe, regardless of what your ancestry, regardless of your religion, and regardless of your political beliefs or the country of origin. But due to the importance of this very special event today, Mayor Jim Kenney, who unfortunately could not be here, has issued a proclamation making today Morocco Day in the city of Philadelphia where we will commemorate this year being the 63rd anniversary of Morocco's independence this year, and we salute the descendants of the Moroccan empire that reside in Philadelphia and throughout the United States of America. So I am so honored to present to you now and read just an excerpt of the mayoral proclamation. Okay, I'm just going to read an excerpt and then we'll do a photo after. It reads in part, the city of Philadelphia is proud to be the home of choice for many people of the descent from the nation of Morocco. The residents proudly share their heritage with their fellow Philadelphians and over generations have greatly impacted our overall population, our culture, our political landscape, religious diversity, the economy, and the art scenes in our city. And today, which is Monday, July 15, 2019, the city of Philadelphia will proudly host a flag raising ceremony to honor you, the many people of the Moroccan descent living in our city and their many contributions to our many communities. And therefore, I, James F. Kenney, Mayor of the City of Philadelphia, do hereby proclaim that today, Monday, July 15, 2019, officially be Morocco Day in Philadelphia. And we urge all citizens to be aware of the many contributions of the Moroccan American residents of our city who are such an integral part of Philadelphia's continued development and vibrancy. Signed by Mayor James F. Kenney. And I also want to give a huge, huge thank you to Sheik Alfred Tart L. And of course, Sheik A. Hopkins Bay. Thank you for all that you have done to make today's special ceremony. And special thanks to the Moorish American Society and the Moorish Science Temples of America. And I know we're going to be fortunate to soon see the Mighty Moors March, who helped today's special ceremony as well with the culture event. So we look forward to that soon but thank you for having us and, and on behalf of mayor jim kenny congratulations on morocco day thank you <laughs> oh, 
now we reach that time. It's time to raise the standard. Now we're going to have our ceremony, Mighty Morris March, led by Sheikh Victor Lewis Ill. Islam? Allah, the Father of the Universe, Allah, the, Father of the, universe. the Father of Love, Father of love. Truth, Truth, Peace, peace. Freedom, freedom, and Justice. And justice. Allah, is Allah is my protector, my guide, my guide. and my salvation. my salvation. By night, by night. And, by day. and by day, through his holy prophet, his holy prophet. Drew, Ali. Drew Ali. Amen. All oh, may be seated. First, I rise, give praise to Allah, the great God of the universe. I give honor to the holy and divine prophet, Prophet Nobu Drew Ali. I give honors to the past, present, and future leadership of the Morris Science Temple of America. I give honor to man because when man honors man, he honors his father, God, Allah, Islam. I would like to begin by reading from our sacred literature, which is entitled The Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America. Circle seven symbol, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Dr. Ali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. And for this occasion, which is very fitting, I would like to read from chapter number 25, page 35 of the Moorish Holy Quran. And this chapter is entitled, A Holy Covenant, of the Asiatic nation. Ye are the children of one father, provided for by his care, and the breast of one mother hath given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brothers, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that bindeth you to love and unity, and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother's in adversity, assist him. If thy sister's in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole race and his care be continued to you all and your love to each other. Islam, Islam, Islam. Praise Allah, you may be seated. I'd like to welcome everyone now to this historic Moorish flag raising event. And before I continue with the program, I just wanted to offer a little bit of history of the Moors. We thank Allah for sending the holy and divine prophet Noble Drew Ali to reintroduce us to who we are by teaching us our nationality and our divine creed. The prophet Noble Drew Ali, he taught us that our nationality is Moorish American, Islam. And in the Quran questions for Moorish Americans, the prophet asks the question, why are we Moorish Americans? And the answer is because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. Islam, Moors. So we as Moorish Americans are descendants of Moroccans. And the prophet lets us know that Moroccan is a modern name for the ancient term Moabite. Islam, Moors. 
So we as Moors trace ourselves back to the ancient Moabite people. And it was the Moabites who were the founders of the holy city of Mecca. And Mecca is the modern name for the Garden of Eden. So the Moors who come from the ancient Moabites, we can trace ourselves back to the first physical man and even before time. Islam Moors? Because the prophet has taught us time never was when man was not. Islam? So we as ancient Moabite people originating in the Garden of Eden, the prophet lets us know that the Moabites, this is our ancient history, Islam, the Moabites were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua, and we received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt, Islam. The prophet says in later years, we form kingdoms. And these kingdoms are called this day Morocco, Islam, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, ETC, Islam. So the prophet is giving us a divine lineage which assists us with getting equated with who we are spiritually and also nationally, Islam. So the kingdom, one of those kingdoms, which is known as Morocco, Morocco served as a foundation for which later unfolded into an empire, Islam. And we are part of that Moroccan empire, Islam, Moors. So I just wanted to just offer that some brief history for those who do not know who we are. Uh, when we say we're descendants of the Moroccan Empire, that extended way beyond Northwest Africa. It actually extended to these lands in which we find ourselves today. Islam? Islam. So moving forward uh, with the program, I'm going to call forth uh, Sheikh and Divine Minister, Brother T. Hopkins Bay II, to give some a few remarks on this historic day, and I will ask our brothers and sisters to give our brother some more honor claps. Islam. Islam, Moors. First, I rise and give all praises to the great God of the universe, Allah, and honor to his holy and divine prophet, Prophet Noble Jura Ali. I give honor to each and every one of you. I give honor to honor is due. Islam. Islam. Praise Allah. I'm not going to tarry long, Moors. I just wanted to come up and uh, give honors to each and every one of you. Um, prophet Noble Drew Ali is the last prophet in these days, and he was sent as a redeemer of our nation. He came to the Asiatics of North America who are, were of Moorish descent to let us know who we are and who our forefathers were. So I thank the prophet Noble Drew Ali for the grand sacrifice that he made. And I thank each and every one of us for getting in tune with the spirit, the spirit uh, and, and the message that Prophet Noble Drali brought and taught. Right. You know, um, the prophet said, where there's unity, there's strength. Right. Together we stand, divided we fall. And this occasion would not occur without unity being on board. Right. So praise Allah, I'm, I'm not going to take too much time. I wanted to read some words of the prophet. Um, from an editorial entitled, Moorish Leader's Historical Message to America. And Prophet Noble Ali said, I further most anxiously hope this brief statement will help you to more clearly see the duty and wisdom of at all times upholding those fundamental principles which are desired for our civilization of our posterity. And that is a key word right there, is a fundamental principle. It's a building block. It's the foundation on which you're supposed to build that temple of perfected man. You know, so fundamental, I, we know that the star in the Moorish flag represents our five highest principles known to man. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But just like Brother Jesus taught, purity paves the way for love. So before you can demonstrate love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, we got to get in line with the fundamental principles, such as obedience to law, 
respect, loyalty to government, tolerance, and unity. Those fundamental principles, the prophet said that they're desired for the posterity, for the civilization of, the, of our posterity, Morris. So this is for our future generations. These principles have to be demonstrated, which it looks like we demonstrate in those principles right, right. with all of us being here today. And Prophet Obadur Ali, he said that the objective of our organization is to help in the great program of uplifting fallen humanity, to teach those things necessary to make our members better citizens. Right. And it's a blessing to stand forth as citizens of the USA, as citizens of the city of Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. So praise Allah. And the prophet ended and closed this editorial out by stating that in conclusion, I urge you to remember there's work enough for all to do in helping to build a better world. The problems of life are largely social and economic in a profound sense they are moral and spiritual. Have a lofty conception of the duties to your country and fellow man in general, and especially those with whom you deal. This includes such honesty and righteousness as will cause you to put yourself in the other fellow's place. Look for the best in others and give them the best that is in you. Have a deeper appreciation for womanhood. Brighten the hopes of our youth in order that their courage be increased to dare and do wondrous things. Adhere at all times to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I am your affectionate leader. I shall continue to labor day and night, both in public and private, for your good, thereby contributing to the welfare of our country and its people as a whole. Noble Drew Ali, the prophet, Morris. Praise Allah, and I thank each and every one of you, Morris. Peace. We'd like to thank Chief and Divine Minister, Brother T. Hopkins Beta II, for his wonderful remarks. At this point in time, I'd like to call forth Sheik and Sin Divine Minister of the Morris Science Temple of America, Sister S. Hopkins Bay. Join me in giving her a Morris honor clap. Islam. Islam, Islam. 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 Praise Allah. First, I would like to rise, giving all praises to the Almighty Father God Allah, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, giving high honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali, the last prophet in these days, Savior of humanity, founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Love made manifest that man may comprehend. Giving high honors to Brother Marcus Mazea Garvey, the forerunner of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Purity made flesh the man that man may comprehend. Giving honor to all the true and divine prophets, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and Confucius. Giving honors to the prophets that I have not mentioned. Giving honors to each and every one of you Islam, Moors. Islam. 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 Praise Allah. Islam. Wow, wow, wow. It is such an honor and a blessing to have Allah bestow his love thought on the nation, the Moorish nation. It is truly a blessing that a holy and divine prophet has come to save us from the wrath of Allah. This is truly, truly a blessing. So we say that we are striving for purity in life. When you're striving for purity in life, that's work. We have been given divine instructions to follow. If we follow our divine instructions, we will forever succeed. We cannot fail with these divine instructions that our holy and divine prophet has brought to us. Praise Allah. 
So I'm going to take a reading from the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Circle 7, divinely prepared by the noble prophet, Drew Ali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. So we know that we are here to perfect ourselves in the sight of the Almighty Father God Allah. So in knowing that, that spells out to us that we have some work to do. And the work that we have to do is all on oneself. So praise Allah, praise Allah, praise Allah for these divine instructions. And I'm going to just go to the inside cover. Know thyself and Allah, genealogy of Jesus, life and works of Jesus in India, Europe, and Africa, in the land of Egypt. Praise Allah. And we know that all the prophets came with the same divine message. Praise Allah. On this, every, every American citizen has a free national name. And our name is Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. That is so, so special. And I just, I love it when people, they come up to me and they ask me, are you born here? Yes, I am descendants of Moroccans born here in America. That's a wonderful thing, Moors, because that is an indication of you being yourself by looking like who you say you are. Praise Allah. Allah is truly the greatest. Keep your faith in Allah. Be humble. Let yourself know. We don't know. Allah knows. That's why he sent us a holy and divine prophet. Praise Allah, Moors. With that, I'm going to say peace. peace. Praise Allah. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. We're going to get the, uh, the mic established, but I'm going to call for a brother who don't really need the mic. You're going to hear him loud and clear. So I want to, it is a, a pleasure for me to call forth my brother man to give a, a, a demonstration on this historic day. Our beloved brother, join me in giving him an, a Moorish honor hand clap, the Grand Sheik Clans Paint the Islam. Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day. Through his holy prophet, Drew right. right. Ali. Right. With that said, I want to go on and send high honors to uh, Sheikh Tariq Il for sponsoring this and 
the mayor, for allowing us to be here, uh, his assistant, Ms. Hess. I have to extend great high honor to the first family of the Morris Science Temple of America here in Philadelphia. Uh, Ronald, Grand Sheik Ronald Hopkins, Hopkins, Hopkins Bay. Islamos, can't remove no foundations for the first family of the Morris Science Temple that is held strong, held long through it all. And he's standing right behind me, looking just like him. <laughs> if, is he more? I mean, the height, the, the whole nine yards. Um, well, I'm, I'm highly honored myself to see all these wonderful children. And, but I have a message. It was threefold on my way here, encountering being here. My message was threefold. But as I left Washington, D.C., came through Baltimore, and arrived in Philadelphia, my message, the third message, became prominent in my mind. And that message is the Moorish American prayer. That prayer for the conditions that we are going through, the conditions that we are living in, we need a prayer. The Moorish American prayer, for those of us that may not be familiar with it, calls, it says, our Father Allah, the creator of the universe, who aligns in his power, in his omnipotence. He aligns elements. He aligns people. You see how that man standing, standing right behind me? Straight, he, he aligned us. He calls for protection. You young people, have easily got another 50, 60 years on this battlefield. And I'm going to ask you 10,000 times, 10,000, 10 times, 10,000 times a day to pray that Moorish American prayer. Whether you're feeling good, whether you're prosperous, or whether you're in adversity, because it, it plainly states, it plainly states, it plainly states, it don't sizzle away, it plays the state that Allah is our protector. Yes. Yes. Now Allah is the father of the universe and everything that's in the universe, the Jupiter, Mars, Uranus, all this, uh, the asteroids, the stars, the sun, the moon, everything that we could possibly think of is in the universe. That's right. That's right. And Allah is the father of it. Right. Then all of a sudden here we are, and he's our father. Yes. And he said he's going to father us in principles. And those principles are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And he gave us a person that looked like us, spoke like us. He was born in the state of North Carolina, January the 8th, 1886, during the presidency of Grover Cleveland, during the papacy of uh, 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 Pope Leo the 13th. Are y'all with me, Moses? I'm talking about the universe. I'm talking about all the things that's in the universe and how they align up. And now I'm telling you the condition that our prophet Noah Drali came into the world. That's right. You young people, you young, beautiful, and y'all are beautiful. <laughs> y'all have got to, cameraman, if it's at all, Grand Sheet, yes. can I have y'all cameramen come up here and take this picture? <laughs> I mean, because y'all are beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, you're beautiful. And our children, look at them. Take our picture. future. At one time, I guess at a more junior summit, I said to this man right here, Islam. Grand Sheik, can I ask you to come up here, please? Absolutely. I said to this man, I looked up to him as my future mm, because of the work that he is doing. Islam. And I still look up to him Islam. Islam. as the future. Islam. Praise Allah. Because of the work that he's doing. Islam. Islam. And I want to thank you, Grand Sheik. Praise Allah. Thank you. And I'm looking up to you Islam. right now. Praise Allah. Islam? Islam. You young people have got a long way to go. We don't realize the times that we're living in, and we take, better still, we're taking the times we're living in for granted. 
we're taking the times that we're living in for granted. And as a result of that, we don't see the things, the unseen forces that are taking place in our lives. We don't see the unseen effects of things that are taking place amongst our children. We don't even see the unseen things that's taking effects amongst us. So I'm going to ask you, you young people, I'm going to ask you to stop. I'm going to ask you to stop and look north. I'm going to ask you to stop and look south. I'm going to ask you to stop and look east. I'm going to ask you to stop and look west. Then I'm going to ask you to stop and look northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest. And when you do that, most you're going to see all the things that are coming, for, coming at you. And I have to go on and stand on before I get down. I have to stand on to another great brother that's up here in Philadelphia. Two brothers, as a matter of fact. They're almost like they're twins. They, they kind of gang, they kind of jump me, you know. <laughs> one is a scorpion, the other one is a cancer. So I'm, ain't no way in the world I can get away. One, no matter what I do, they're coming after me. But I have to stand on to Grand Sheik Victor Lewis Hill. Islam Sheik, could you come on up here for a moment? Sheik Tardio, could you come up here for a moment? Thank you, Moore. Moore, I want y'all to align. Y'all see what's behind me? It ain't moved. Still there. Align us. Align us four parties up here. And what do you get? You get the enforcement of the law under love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. You get the laying of, of the foundation. Step out, step out. You get the laying of the foundation. You get the laying of the foundation that should never be destroyed. A foundation that should never be destroyed. Islam on? Because this is what we need. This is chapter two in our Holy Quran. No matter what come at you, Moors, look to that foundation. That should never be destroyed. Some people thought when Grand Sheik Hopkins Bay laid to rest, the foundation was going to be destroyed. But they were sadly, and still are sadly mistaken. <laughs> sadly mistaken. It'll never be destroyed. The Moore Science Temple of America, a lawfully chartered, lawfully incorporated organization not by me or mere man, but according to the law. Is that right, Grand Sheik? It was lawfully chartered. It was lawfully incorporated by law. It was lawfully incorporated under the pres presidency of Woodrow Wilson. Lawfully chartered. It was lawfully chartered under the papacy of Leo or Pope Pius X. Are y'all with me, family? I'm talking about the universe. I'm talking about things that align us in the universe. I'm talking about things that are taking place when things take place. Are y'all with me? If we look into these people, and we'll see. You'll see the open records. You'll see the sacred records open. You'll see things open that are telling about Prophet Noble Drew Ali coming. You're going to see how he came, what he did when he was going to come, and how he was going to leave. You will see all the things that we're witnessing today. Are y'all with me, family? Thank you, Amos. Thank you for the honor. How much time I got, Gretchen? How much time I got? Huh? Okay. Morris, maybe another time I get to put my other two parts <laughs> to my message. But please, out of anything that I've said, please, you young people, you young people, you young people, you are our future. And live it under love, live it under truth, peace, freedom, and justice.
you know, see what the lower self will do to us, and see all that it has done to us. Love, let me hear you say it more. Love, Love. Truth, truth, peace, peace freedom, freedom, and justice. Reigning in this land, in those days, the United States was one of the greatest civilized world countries in the world. But it was above the civilized world countries in the world. It's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. Praise the love. We'd like to thank the Grand Sheik, Clarence Pate the Ill, for those wonderful remarks and that beautiful demonstration of unity. Praise Allah. At this point in time, we're going to have a reading of the proclamation that was just issued by the mayor of the city of Philadelphia. As the first world heritage, heritage city in the nation, the city of Philadelphia is extremely proud of the example we set for the rest of the country and how our multicultural population promotes understanding of new perspectives and introduces aspects of other cultures and traditions that we might not otherwise experience. Philadelphia flourishes with the, with the diversity of our residents who enrich us with the, their infusion of culture, art, tradition, skills, and values the immigrant populations could contribute to the character and vitality of our neighborhood and communities. We are honored and privileged that these men and women chose to come here and benefit our many neighborhoods with their culture and heritage. Philadelphia is honored to be the home of choice for many people with ties to the nation of Morocco. These residents proudly share their heritage with their fellow Philadelphians and over generations have impacted our overall population, culture, political landscape, religious diversity, economy, and arts scene. Our city has a tremendous and long-standing connection to the people of the Moroccan Empire especially the Moorish residents who immigrated to America in order to freely practice their Islamic faith. Noble Drew Ali, founding father of the Moorish American Society, established one of the first Moorish Science Temples of America, number 11, in Philadelphia at 817 South Broad Street on August the 3rd, 1928. On Monday, July 15, 2019, the city of Philadelphia will proudly host a flag-raising ceremony to honor the many people of Moroccan descent living in our city and for their many contributions to our communities. Residents of Moorish descent are planning a week-long celebration of Moorish Independence Day, which was established by Noble Drew Ali on July 20, 1928 in Chicago, Illinois, for all people of Moorish descent to reaffirm their pursuit of justice, liberty, and independence. Therefore, I, James F. Kinney, Mayor of the City of Philadelphia, do hereby proclaim Monday, July 15, 2019, to be Morocco Day in Philadelphia, and urge all citizens to be aware of the many contributions of the Moroccan American residents in our city who are an integral part of Philadelphia's continued development and vibrancy. James F. Kinney, Mayor, given under my hand and seal in the city of Philadelphia on this 15th day of July, 2019. Praise Allah. At this point in time, I'm going to call forth Sheik A. Tard Il to give some remarks, and we thank the brother for him heeding the guidance of Allah to have the foresight to establish a day of honoring and recognizing the Moorish flag, which is over 10,000 years old. Let's give our brother a Moorish honor hand clap. Islam. Islam, Muslims. Thank you all for being here. We made history today once again. You are Moorish history without a doubt or contradiction. Moors, we are the descendants of the Moroccan Empire who reside in Philadelphia and throughout the United States of America. I want to further thank the United States Oh, excuse me. I want to further thank the Moorish Science Temple of America. I almost said that correct too, didn't I? Uh, and I want to thank the Moorish American Society. I want to thank you all for coming out. And this is a joyous occasion. I, I really appreciate seeing. Know what Ali said? You're going to see fezes as far as the eye can see. All right. And I've seen very far today. 
Moors, I want to give thanks to my beautiful children, Amari and Amai, who sat patiently through this today. I want to give thanks to Be Creative Media Video, who's here today uh, recording this uh, momentous event. And uh, I want to give thanks to our event coordinator, Kenya Spain Bay. And uh, I want you more to just enjoy the rest of your day. Grand Sheik Azim Hopkins Bay, your master of ceremony, is going to give some brief remarks and uh, close this out after the benediction. All right? Praise the Lord. Thank you all. Islam, Moors. Islam. Islam. Praise Allah, I want to reiterate, you know, this historic occasion, brothers and sisters. A lot of people do not realize that this city is the location where we were stripped of our nationality and divine creed by way of the meeting of the First Continental Congress at Carpenter's Hall. Also, this is where our Moors flag went down and was reportedly held in a vault until retrieved by the Holy Divine Prophet Nobu Ali. So this is a truly historic occasion because this is where our flag went down and it's a blessing to see our flag being raised in City Hall. Islam Moors? That is a true blessing and an honor and it's a sign to me that the Moorish nation is on the rise. Islam Moors? We have a strong legacy to uphold. And I urge the brothers and sisters to not only read a holy covenant of the Asiatic nation, but demonstrate a holy covenant of the Asiatic nation. It's not Moors, because we are one community. It's one brotherhood. Every living thing is bound by cords to every other living thing. And by the sweet breath of Allah, all life is bound in one. So charity begins at home. So we as a conscious Moorish American Muslim people, we have a responsibility to uphold those grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Islam Moors, we'd like to thank everyone who came out to this grand occasion uh, everyone who was responsible for making this day a grand success. And this is something that we plan on doing every year as a legacy, raising that flag that's over 10,000 years old in honor of the ancestors. It's not Moors. Because when this flag is honored, the Moorish nation is honored. Islam. So I pray to Almighty God Allah that we take time out of our schedule every year to come to this occasion of the Moorish flag raising here in the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. Islam, Islam. at this point in time, I'm going to call forth Grand Sheikh's Betty Pray the Ill to close us out with the benediction. Let us give our beloved mother, sister, a Moorish honor clap. Islam. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. Islam. Islam. Islam, Moors. First and always, I rise, giving my highest praises to Allah, giving my highest honor to Prophet Noble Drew Ali, giving honor to this great day here in Philadelphia, giving honor to the Grand Sheikh, Grand Sheikh Hazim Hawkins Bay and his staff here, giving honor to Grand Sheikh Victor Lewis Ill for extending the invitation to me. This is my first time. I've seen many pictures, but I am so proud to stand here and to look out, Moors, you all should see that, to look out over your city here in Philadelphia. I thank the Moors for coming from near and far, thanking my family from coming from Baltimore and, and from the D.C. area. The, the benediction is a closing prayer. It is a short prayer, and a benediction can't be for anyone but us Moors but our Moorish American prayer. So I would ask us all, children, babies, stand up, or everyone, please stand up. And in honor of our prophet, Prophet Noble Drew Ali, say that Moorish American prayer with power and authority.
wake up Philadelphia, send it back home to my D.C., send it back home to my Baltimore. Let the world hear that Prophet Nova Drew Ali is here today in Philadelphia. Islam, 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 praise Allah. I would like for our babies, our babies to close us out with the Moorish American prayer and the rest of us follow suit behind our babies. Islam, babies. Come on, babies. Start the prayer. You need some help? Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my God and my salvation. By night, and by day, through his holy prophet, Drali, amen. Islam, praise Allah. We are the more, we are the more, we are the more, the mighty, mighty more, the mighty, mighty more, the mighty, mighty more, everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people want to know, people want to know. Mighty, 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 mighty